a JustAZ.com production. About six years ago, I installed a Netgear and Wi-Fi router for our wireless network here at home. It worked well as we only needed it for two laptops. Now with tablets, laptops, smartphones, and services such as Netflix and Hulu, we need an upgrade. Too often someone cannot get on the internet from their tablet or laptop, or cannot connect to one of our services. So I'm going to install a Netgear R6200 smart Wi-Fi router. Let me show you how it's done. Here you see the cable modem and the old router. Disconnect the power cable from the modem. All the lights should be off. If you have a battery backup, disconnect that as well. Disconnect the power cable from the old router. Then disconnect the cable for any computers wired directly into the router. And finally, disconnect the cable that leads to the modem. The old router is uninstalled. Plug the power cable for the new router into your power source. Ours is under the desk, so after plugging it in, Bob slipped the cable up to the hole in the desk. Before plugging in the new router, though, reconnect the modem's power cable to the modem. Connect the router's power cable to the port on the far right side on the back of the router. Then plug the cable that leads from the modem to the router into the yellow colored port. Reconnect the cables from the computers wired directly to the router. You should see the power light and logo light on the router come on, as well as the light for the wireless connection. These lights are located on the front of the router. If the lights don't come on, check the left side of the router for the Wi-Fi on-off button. Press the button to turn the router on. The Netgear R6200 Smart Wi-Fi Router is now installed. We have two desktop computers wired to the router. One of them, we bring up a browser and see a message from Netgear congratulating us on our installation. You'll see your network's name and passwords. Click the button that connects you to the internet and you're taken to the Netgear page. Test the connection by bringing up a home page or other internet site, such as JustAZ.com. Next, we adjust the settings on my Surface. I go to Settings, and to find Networks, I tap Available. The Wi-Fi option is on, and I tap the name of our network. After tapping the Connect button, I enter the password for the network. When the settings menu returns and confirms that I am connected to the wireless network, I check by going online. Next, we connect a laptop to the network. Bob brings up the control panel, clicks on Network and Internet option, and then the option to connect to the Internet. He clicks on the option to connect to the wireless connection clicks the name of our network, and enters the password in the pop-up window. The procedure may vary slightly for your computer, but the prompts are essentially the same. Select the wireless option and then your network, enter the password provided by Netgear, and then test the connection. And we're up. We test by visiting the Google home page. Next comes Netflix. We use our Wii console for the Netflix, so we start at the Wii menu. We click Start, and after a moment we get a message that tells us the service is unable to connect to the Internet. We click Enter Settings. Click Internet, then Connection Settings. For Connection Settings, click Wireless Connection. That's the settings from the old router. Click Clear Settings and Yes to proceed.
click on Connection, then select Wireless Connection, and search for Access Point. Click OK to continue, and after a moment you'll have the option to select the Access Point, which is your network. Select your network, and then you'll enter the password. The screen then comes up asking you to confirm the change in security settings. Click OK, and OK again to start the connection test. Once you have a successful connection, follow the prompts for Netflix to update the Wii system. You'll need to update the settings and passwords for any device or service you may have that you want to connect to your wireless network. Keep your network name and password handy, but in a secure place. There may be instances when you need to identify the network and re-enter the password. The R6200 is quick to install, and all we needed to do after that was reset a couple of settings on the various devices and services. Thanks for watching. Questions or comments? Put them in the comment section below. And subscribe to our channel for more videos on the DIY lifestyle.